Good day, everyone. I am Hwani Lee from Yonsei University, and today I'm going to discuss the appendectic vowel in Korean phonology. The title of this lecture is Appendectic Vowel, a Syllable Splitter in Korean Phonology. In this lecture, I will not only discuss what the appendicis is, but also how it appears in Korean phonology and what phonological and acoustic features it has. After that, I will finish the lecture with a brief conclusion. What is the appendectic vowel? I think we should discuss what the appendicis is first. Appendicis means the insertion of a sound or letter within a word. That is, this can both be related to phonology and orthography. Then, what is an appendectic vowel? If we just replace the keyword sound or letter with the vowel, then we figure out what it is. Yes, inserted vowel within a word. Now that we learned what the appendectic vowel is, let's move on to how and why it occurs in Korean phonology. Appendectic vowel does not occur without any reason. Its occurrence stems from the syllabic structure rule of the Korean language as it blocks certain syllabic structures. For example, while the structures V, CV, VC, and CVC are possible in Korean, CCVC and CVCC are impossible. What we are going to address is the vowel U in Korean phonology. This is unlikely in English phonology, but in Korean, as the Korean syllabic structure rule blocks CCVC structure, this vowel is inevitably inserted between the two consonants. Now, let's see how this vowel affects the syllabic structure of a word. Let's take the CCVC structure, for example. We have the word black. This word is widely used in Korea, not only to refer to a certain color, but also to address some proper nouns such as Black Friday and Black Mamba. Although the meaning of black does not dramatically change in any context, its syllabic structure does because of the insertion of the appendectic vowel. Let's compare the two. The one on the left stands for the CCVC structure of the black in English. On the other hand, the one on the right corresponds to the word pronounced in Korean. What is the most noticeable difference? Yes, you see, the one on the right consists of two separate syllables, while the one on the left does not. Having one more syllable also means losing part of its onset consonant, l, as it becomes an onset of the following syllable. We call this process resyllabification. So far, we have discussed the effect of the appendectic vowel u regarding phonology. Now, we are going to see how it appears on spectrograms. Here are two different spectrograms, each of which corresponds to the speech black and black, respectively. The voice samples are acquired from the TTS database. While the one on the left displays one consistent formant band, which means one vowel, the other spectrogram consists of two separate formant concentrations, which means there are two vowels. What's more, from the spectrogram on the right, we can see that the length of the vowel e is relatively shorter than that in the left spectrogram. The vowel e on the right spectrogram appears to be as long as the appendectic vowel u. How about the F-zero values of the appendectic vowel u? From the single utterance token analyzed with PROT, the F1 turned out to be around 530 Hz, while F2 to be around 2100. To locate the vowel on the F-zero map, we can find it above the vowel e and on the top right of e. To interpret this data, from the F1 value, we can conclude that the vowel height of this appendicis vowel is slightly lower than e or e, but higher than e or a. When it comes to the backness of the appendectic vowel u, for n from its F2 minus F1, 1567 Hz, we can assume that it is a central vowel. Indeed, the appendectic vowel u is classified as a high central vowel located between e and u. In this lecture, we analyze the appendectic vowel u phonologically and acoustically. Now, it's time to wrap up today's lecture. Because CCVC is not allowed in Korean phonology, the appendectic vowel u is inevitably inserted. Consequently, this results in some syllabic change and the acoustic variance. This is the end of this lecture. I hope my video would be helpful in your learning Korean phonology and better understand the differences between Korean and English. Thank you.